Hey guys, how are you? I had a lot of videos in the queue for what I was going to be uploading in the next couple weeks. And I asked you guys on Twitter what you would like to see first, and this video won. So I'm here to talk about the differences between the T3i and the T4i by Canon, the DSLR line. Well, let me just start by saying this. I am recording with a Canon T3i using the kit lens, the 18 to 55 millimeter. Audio, however, is being brought by the Blue Yeti microphone, so don't judge it in that regard. I've had a lot of experience actually playing around with the T4i myself. Many of you may or may not know. I work at Best Buy in the camera department, so I get a lot of time with new cameras. So, okay, let me put it this way. Looking from the T2i to the T3i when I was trying to pick my own SLR, the big feature that made me want to go with the T3i for the extra $100 was the articulated LCD, which right now I can even say is so helpful when shooting videos. You can frame much better, you can do focusing much better. So to me, that was worth it. Going from the T3i to the T4i, I think probably the two big features are not only do we have an articulated LCD, but now we have a touchscreen LCD. And the other thing would be that now on the T4i, you have continuous autofocus in video mode. Let me also say that right now I have my lens in automatic as opposed to manual focus. And once I focused it on my face, there is a little box that sort of follows me throughout the frame to keep focus on me. That is not necessarily continuous autofocus. But if you have your lens on automatic, you can sort of get a very similar type of effect. For filmmakers or people going to be shooting things that are going to be moving a lot, I would say the continuous autofocus will definitely help you. This could not necessarily achieve a similar type of thing. However, for situations like this where it's just myself or very simple type shots where things don't move too much, I don't feel that I would need continuous autofocus. Looking at the touchscreen LCD, now this is one thing I actually have found to be semi-useful for newcomers to the SLR line. Especially customers that I get at the store, I tend to tell them that the touchscreen's helpful because you don't necessarily have to learn the buttons, which one changes ISO, which one changes shutter speed. You simply touch it on the screen. That's very helpful, um, simplifies the whole interface a lot. However, as someone who is hoping to use larger cameras in the future, such as the 5D or say like a 1DX or any of those, I would say that learning the buttons is important. Let me just put it this way. If I was buying my SLR right now, I would definitely still choose the T3i over the T4i. I've had this camera since like October or something last fall, so roughly a year. I love it. What I am trying to say is, now that the T4i is out, the T3i is going to drop significantly in price. It already has. It's kind of at like $749 or something right now. To me, I think you should save the $100, get the T3i, which is still a fantastic camera, and spend that extra $100 on, say, a 50mm prime lens or potentially going towards a, a better zoom lens, maybe a better microphone for your YouTube setup. The T3i is still a fantastic camera. I'm not at all jealous that the T4i came out. I'm still so 110% happy with my T3i, and I'm going to continue to use it for years to come. So I hope that helps you guys out. If you guys have some specific questions about purchasing your first SLR, feel free to leave those questions below. I feel like I want to do a series about that in the future. And I kind of like the idea that you guys have been choosing which video goes up first. It kind of molds the content into something that you guys would like. So feel free to check out my new Facebook page. It's a personal page, but hit subscribe to get my public updates. And then you guys can fill out the poll that I'm going to be putting up next week to decide which video should be coming up next. I think it'll be kind of a good way to interact with you guys a little more personally. So check me out there. The link will be below. And as always, feel free to contact me on Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff if you have any more detailed questions. For all of you who don't know what icons are, check out www.iconography.com. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to get future videos from me. As always, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.